Like, how many people do you know that do their hair and makeup in the woods out of a suitcase? So basically what me and Matt do is like, we'll shoot, we'll submit to different magazines and see who picks us up. So far we've been picked up by three magazines and we basically vlog a lot of the behind the scenes how we shoot, where we go, what we shoot, and then when the editorial comes out, we wanna post the vlog that we did alongside with like what we came up with, like what got published. A lot of people don't really know what models, photographers, and like artists do on set. You know, they just see the final product. So I think it would be pretty cool and fun if some, if you guys got to see the amount of work that we put in to come up with the final product. You guys know it's hysterical. One, Matt's car is just always open. Two, he's always like, my car smells like shit, blah, blah, blah. You know what else is funny? This bagel has been here for like four days. I kind of want to open it and like see what's really in it, but I'll just leave that. I'll leave that be. Stop complaining that your car smells when you have four-year-old bagels sitting in your trunk. Can I go to Duncan? Yeah. And I got a pumpkin donut. Whatever you're doing, just stop and go to Dunkin' Donuts and get yourself a pumpkin donut. It's like, amazing. I mean, at this point, it's just safe to say that Matt's car is just my glam room on wheels. Trying not to look like a clown. And right, let me put some blush on my cheeks and then we get to go and shoot the other outfit. You know, just putting on my Russian accent that I don't really know how to do. How many more looks have we got? We have this one, and then we have two more, and then we're done. Okay, so we just wrapped up the shoot, and Matt is literally, he just booked a client. Like, we are just shooting, you know, completely free, just having fun doing it. And some guy walks up to him and he's like, hey man, like, can you like do a job for me? And he's over there networking right now. With a like, guy, I'm so happy for him, so. All right, but anyways, I'll see you guys later, bye. So on the second day of the shoot, we decided to hike half a mile on abandoned train tracks. And Jim Matt is carrying my 40 pound suitcase because I barely curl a five pound weight. Yeah, Matt's literally taking me to this really dope spot, carrying a jacket, some coffee, you know. 45 pound suitcase, heavy camera, threw on the train tracks. <laughs> like it literally looks like we're going like to, I don't know, die or something. Like this is such creepy vibes. It reminds me of like a Johnny Depp movie. Right? No My road. coffee's like peeing out on me. Oh, I mean this is lit, but wait, oh my god. This is dope. Wait, do we have to cross the bridge? Nope. Oh, thank god. I'm gonna put this here for right now. Oh, yo, no way. It's dirty. Of course, Matt goes and walks on it, cause like, like down low, really cool spot. I busted ass. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Actually, I uh, got it on camera. <laughs> yeah, my camera is covered in dirt. I'm covered in dirt. <laughs> you have a private bathroom. You got your wardrobe change on the opposite side. This is like, this is some high quality stuff right here. It's a good location. I'm literally gonna have to climb up there. Yeah, it's gonna be so fun. Side, living room up top, right? <laughs> driveway on, on the tracks. Good stuff. Some high quality stuff right here. Like, how many people do you know that do their hair and makeup in the woods out of a suitcase? I swear I'm a makeup and hair professional. I can create any hair and any makeup look. I'm just kidding. This is giving me anxiety to look at. We got two more looks to do, and then we get to get Shake Shock. Woo! Wheel. I got up here with a coffee. You can get up here with a 30-pound suitcase. <laughs> oh, man. Well, he did it. <laughs> that was a mission. So, like, we're done with our shoot. And <laughs> Matt's so excited to carry. 400 pound suitcase, quarter mile down the train track. It's completely fine. Right. Shake shot. Yeah. It's like a ritual. Mm. Burgers, since I'm no longer a vegan. Because it made my skin look like. All right, bye. 
So our photos ended up getting published in Vanity Wall magazine. And I feel like you guys might be wondering like, oh, well, why are you like doing so much work for all of this? And it's because modeling is my passion. I genuinely love doing it. I don't really do it for the money. I actually have a full-time job, I trade. But that story is for another video. So I'll see you guys soon.